Jagger's dressing room here and talk with Alexander Texier. He had the second goal here tonight. And this one, uh, you got that goal, and then you had some real good pushes at the end. But uh, it looked like they just made it tough in those last couple of minutes. Yeah, I think we played a play good game, but it's not enough. You know, we have to find a way to uh, win a hockey game. And uh, I think we did not tonight. So, What about you uh, playing at center? Are you starting to make some adjustments there? I mean, it looked like uh, you had some, some good work with Cam and Nick tonight. Yeah, I mean, I feel good. I can play uh, wherever. It doesn't matter for me. I just, just want to play. And, uh, you know, play center. I have to, uh, you know, simple my game and, you know, play uh, good defensively. Uh, I feel good because I have two, uh, two good uh, winger. You know, I can uh, give them the puck and they're going to give me back. And, you know, we have a uh, good... Uh, Good confident uh, between each other, so I think it's great. Yeah. Is that the biggest thing for you? Just the defensive responsibility when you play in the middle. There's a little bit more of that, isn't there? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, you can uh, can make one mistake, so you have to be uh, perfect. So I try to be focused on that. Uh, you know, before every game, even if I don't have offense, I try to do my job defensively and you know, play hard. And uh, you know, that's the only thing I can control right now. Just uh, put everything. Tell me a little bit about that goal, Cam, with a nice pass out to you and a uh, quick shot there going inside the far post. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, put uh, everything to the net, win every one-on-one -on -one battle. I think it's a great, great play by Cam, and I just put it on the net. This time it just, just works out. Yeah. Thanks, Alexander. Thank you. Alexander Tex, yeah, he had uh, one of the two goals for the Blue Jackets in this one. And let's see. Uh, Nick Foligno is talking here. See if we can get in on this. In front of uh, Kemper, I think that's yeah. Um, you know, and making sure that we made it hard on him. I think we, we allowed him to see a little bit too many pucks, and you know that's where we're going to bang away those dirty ones. Nick, you look at Luke's wrap round, and then 21 seconds later they come down and score. Same with mm -hmm. Savard shot off the post. I mean, just how slim are the margins right now? Yeah, that's that's the difference. I mean, we got to find ways to put those in, and we've been talking about that. And that's not on those guys. It's just we have those chances, um, you know, and, and we got to figure out a way to bury them because that's that's what's going to you know get us back in the win column, get us going consistently. You know, not win one, lose two. It's you know we got to win three, four in a row here to climb back in it. And uh, you know that's that's going to be where just that that extra detail, um, whether it's on the offensive side, on the defensive side, understanding how we need to play. Um, and then those pucks are going to start going in because we're going to be around and in the areas we're supposed to be to score goals. Are you seeing the sense of urgency? Maybe you need to see, you guys had 17 minutes there down the goal. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I think our team understands the situation we're in in the standings. Uh, you know, I think we're, we're working towards it. I think we've played some good hockey uh, of late. It's just, it's finding that extra little push, that extra, you know, um, mile that you need to go in a game to, to get a win and, and then start to just build off that. And I think we, we haven't seen that tidal wave kind of going in, in that direction for us where we're, you know, we're winning games and we're just feeling it. And uh, the schedule set up pretty nicely for us to get on a roll here where we can play every other day and, and kind of, you know, feel good about our game. And uh, we just got to get that first one and, and really get rolling from there. And, uh, you know, I, the way we had the energy and the excitement in that Pittsburgh game, you know, we got to carry that over. It was a tough one in New, you know, New York, obviously. And uh, tonight, just coming home, we really needed to get that back and didn't. And uh, it's going to be a big one Thursday. Nick Foligno talking with us here. And now let's get Dean Kukin, who got a goal. That first really official NHL goal that you got there tonight. Uh, you got more responsibility. You got a goal. Let's talk about your individual game. How did you feel about the way you played? Uh, I think I had a good game. Uh, I got uh, good confidence right now, so I'm um, yeah, making plays out there and I'm um, feeling really good. One thing, you always get the puck out of your zone uh, really quickly. That's one of the things. Playing with Seth Jones, uh, how different is that from the other guys you played with? I mean, Jonesy, he's one of the, the best guys in this league, so it's really uh, fortunate to play with him. He's a really good defender and uh, yeah, it's, it's easy to play uh, alongside him. That goal you get on the power play, uh, you guys get a double minor, you score within the first two minutes, an opportunity maybe to get it all the way back there. It didn't happen. And that was kind of the story of the night, right? Close, but just not uh, close enough. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we've been close to, to score a couple times tonight. And uh, it has been like that like almost the whole season. We just we can't uh, score goals. That's uh, the main issue we have. But uh, I think all in all, we played a good game. It's just, uh, yeah, we, we don't make the goals. That's, that's what hurt us. How frustrating was it then in the last two minutes, minute and a half, whatever there, when they came with the, the good push and they locked down the neutral zone where you know you've got to get through there and there's just no way you can? 
Yeah, I mean, we just we, we pulled the goalie. We were six and five. We got to get in the offensive zone and and set up there. But yeah, I, as you said, they came at us. We we couldn't really get in there, and yeah, didn't really get a chance to to play a six and five in their zone. Dean, I was looking. You guys give up that first period goal with less than a minute to go. I believe that's the ninth time this year that's happened. Just how important is it to cut out those maybe mistakes late in periods? Um, I think that uh, I mean yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean it's. Uh, minute at the end of the period, you want to don't want to get scored on, but it was a PK, it was an unlucky bounce, so you can't really do anything against that. And yeah, we play good so far, and I think uh, that didn't really bother us. How pivotal was it a moment if Savar gets that goal that went off the post there? Just how big that would have been going into the third period? Yeah, I mean, it would have uh, given a little a bit more of a push there. Uh, I was unlucky again as post. I mean, yeah. Can't say it. We have, uh, I think, two posts tonight, and yeah, it's just we we gotta bury those chances we get, and yeah. I'm Bob McElligot with Jody Shelley to get his take on tonight's game. Well, I thought the Blue Jackets did a lot of great things and some glimpses of the way they want to play. Uh, they didn't generate a lot of offense, but they generated some. They didn't capitalize on their chances. But this team has played the Islanders and the Coyotes, two of the stingiest teams in the league. Tough games to to play against. You're not going to generate a lot, and they didn't. So, okay, here they sit, losing to both of those teams. It's tough to think about right now. But this Blue Jackets team needs to continue the way they're playing. They cannot get frustrated. The emotional win against Pittsburgh just last week, and now the Rangers on Thursday night, let's see what they bring there. I think that this game was played well. There were some big saves. Arizona played stingy and got timely goals and timely saves. But I guard on the, on, uh, the Blue Jackets getting frustrated. I saw a little bit down there tonight. They cannot let that happen. They can't think that they don't know how to score because they do. We saw it in the last two weeks. And now they need to continue and look forward to an emotional game as Panarin gets back here and it's the Rangers. It's just a different feel of the hockey game when those teams come in, not so structured, not so stingy. And then you can relax and play your game. John, at the end of the second period there, Savard hits a shot off the post, Dubois wrap around, miss, and then a 21 seconds later they get the goal. Just how small are the margins right now for you guys? When you don't score goals, it's an awful small margin. John, going into this game, we talked about how to attempt to even replace Zach Wierenski. How did you feel the entire core responded, and then what fed into your decision to put Kukin across from Seth tonight? Well, I thought Kooks was probably our best puck carrying defenseman tonight. Uh, he has shown us uh, just a tremendous improvement uh, with his game with the puck, working on the game uh, defensively as far as the battles. Um, a little inconsistent uh, from shift to shift, but uh, he, he's, he's moving right along as far as his development. And, uh, so I. Z's, uh, Z is a puck mover, playing with Jonesy. They've been playing mostly. I wanted to put a puck mover with him. Put Texier back at center. Do you feel like that got him kind of moving and skating more and it ends up with him getting a goal as well? Tex, Tex played well, I thought. Uh, four checked well, made some good plays. Uh, yeah, he's going to stay at center. John Cooks gets his goal on a power play with two defensemen, three forwards. That's not a look we see around the league as much anymore. Just can you share what went into that decision as well? Not just those two players, Murray and Kukin, but the whole composition of that unit. Yeah, the, the uh, Cam, Winnie, have been taken off the power play. Um, I thought Cam uh, played more like Cam uh, tonight. I noticed him more. Uh, so as we always talk about with the power play, that's a privilege. Uh, and we just think, uh, some other guys deserve an opportunity. Sonny Milano, although he struggles at times away from the puck, has made a ton of offensive plays. Makes one tonight. We score a power play goal. So uh, as I've talked about here, it, it is I, I've got to find different things to try to help. Uh, I hope Cam, again, I did. I, I liked his game. Winning his game, I can't find him. Doesn't play much. Uh, uh, didn't play much tonight. Cam, I thought, put himself in a spot that where he was noticed more. So we'll see where it goes. We're just going to uh, take it game by game as far as the power play units and who plays with who. You're looking for different guys to create. Did you see, you mentioned Sonny, were there others who were creating opportunities that might have not been there two, three games ago? Oh, I don't know, Dave. Uh, I, I don't, uh, um, 
My concern for tonight's game was I thought we just gave up too much off the rush against them. Uh, they're one of the better rush teams and scoring chances in the league. Uh, I, I thought we uh, were waiting below the puck, hoping to create offense. Someone else keeps it in on a 50-50 puck. I just think we were behind the puck instead of above it at too many times tonight. That's my biggest concern uh, uh, with tonight's game. Uh, we, we can't. We can't start cheating and lingering below a puck because we're just not scoring goals or creating enough offense. We got to we got to be above the puck and play play that way. Um, yeah. So as far as we, you know, we had some chances, uh, um, but to name a guy, I don't know. I, I got to watch the video. But Sonny certainly sticks out to me in, in making some plays. Luke makes a couple plays to him. Uh, Sonny makes a good play in the power play. Um, yeah. But well, we just. Just not finding the back of the net consistent enough and end up with some goals against us that just a little bit of, there's just tough puck luck for us with some of the goals. Uh, but that's what happens. We've got to try to force it to go the other way.